Hey, Shalom, Shalom, I can miss your brother here, your kind of. First and foremost, I'd like to start out by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Akwakwadash, Barakadam, and double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth and salutations out there to the hopeful elect, the Akim that are putting this work uh, dil diligently, all right? To you, I want to say Shalom to you and your families, all right? This lesson is hopefully going to be an edifying, uplifting video. All right, to Akim and the Akwaf that are listening and scattered ab abroad the four corners of the earth. Okay, the lesson is going to be about on confidence. Okay, what does confidence mean? All right, just having, having, really having faith, belief in yourself and what you can do. All right, and we must have confidence in this walk, in this truth of ours. Okay, because uh, you can be your worst enemy in this truth. Okay, you can either be your worst enemy or you could be your biggest, or you could be your biggest fan. All right, it's all about how you how you how, how you think, how you process things. That's why scriptures say, "As a man thinketh, so is he." So if you're going to continue as a man in this truth, all right, it's important to keep your head up. All right, not walk with your head down. All right, not 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 be consumed with depression. All right, not be consumed in anxiety and things of that nature. All right, but to walk, you know, confidently, man. All right, and just you know, our confidence comes from the scriptures, comes from the Lord. All right. We, we, we know that we are a great people, a chosen people, a royal priesthood, all right? Confident is to believe in yourself and what you can do, but not in an arrogant way, all right? And we're supposed to have confidence in this truth, okay? Because where does confidence come from? Confidence comes from hard work, consistent work, work ethic. The more you work, the more you read, the more videos you put up, the more you go out to the highways and byways, the more you're learning, okay? It, it, it makes you more confident in this ministry, makes you more confident in walking with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, that's why it's important to be built up in this thing, man, to boost your confidence, which will boost your faith, which will boost your hope in this in this walk, and to keep walking, you know, confidently and circumspectly. All right, but confidence is a big thing in this walk, man. All right, that's why you're supposed to be built up. You're supposed to be, you know, as a young babe, and you continue to learn. You continue to, you know, that's why scriptures say, you know, uh, 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 to keep studying, study that show thyself approved. Okay. Uh, right, rightly dividing the word of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, the more that we are reading, the more that we are listening, the more that we are learning, we become more confident in this truth. Okay, when I first came into this truth, I didn't feel confidently on, on, on doing videos or even going out to the highways and byways and breaking down and doing lessons because I didn't really, you know, I didn't put the time in, I didn't put the work in, I wasn't as confident as I am now. Now I am 100% more uh, confident and I can, you know, come behind a, a, a phone and a video and break down a lesson and understand it so someone else can break it down or someone else can understand it, you know? I can confidently believe that I can go out to the highways and byways and do a lesson by myself, okay? And hold my ground, okay? Five, six years ago, I didn't, I didn't think that way. I didn't believe that, okay? So what, what did that have to come with? That had to come with time. That had to come with me putting in work, okay? Day in and day out. It didn't just happen here and there. It was consistent work day in and day out for years, man, all right? And the more you keep doing it consistently, the more confident you will become, the more confident you will be, all right? We have to be confident in this truth because, you know, in the latter days, our faith was gonna be tested, all right? But our faith should not be uh, wavering. Our faith should only be getting stronger because we're getting more and more and more and more and more closer to Yahweh by Shimei Abishai. We're seeking Yahweh by Shimei Abishai more and more. All right? We are around brethren. Okay? Brothers are uplifting us up, man. All right? Telling us to keep going. They're building our confidence up. Telling us that, you know, things we got to work on. Things that we're doing good at. Our strengths, our weaknesses. We got leaders around us that are, you know, rebuking us when need be. You know, picking us up when need be. You know, the full spectrum. Okay? Be around people that are going to pick you up. That are going to be able to check you. When you, they feel like you're not doing your best You gotta be around brothers like that, man Where brothers feel like you're just not giving your best foot forward You Brothers need to check you and be like, hey man, look, you're kind of bullshit, bro You know Last week, last, you know, two months last, last So-and-so, you was consistent, you kind of falling off, bro You know, because how you do one thing Is how you do everything, you do one thing half ass You're gonna do everything else half ass You do one thing, you know, 100% to the T You're gonna do everything else 100% to the T You know, it's a character, it's a trait It's a habit you're either building bad habits or you're building good habits. Build good habits. And good results will come from those habits. You build bad habits and bad results will come from those bad habits. Okay? So in this truth, you have to have good habits. You have to have habits where you're reading, 
where you got lessons that are breaking down to you, where you, you know, you're jotting down notes when you're reading, when you're listening. Okay. Prayer, fasting, and being around like-minded brothers. Just communicating with brothers, man. You know, sometimes brothers vent to you about about their life. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, scriptures say, you know, confess thy sins to one another. You know, as 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 brother in his truth, we should be able to come to another brother and confess what's going on in our life, man. All right, some of our brothers, you know, we talk to uh, each other about women. You know, we all got women problems. Well, you know, scriptures say you should have trouble in the flesh if you got a woman. So we you know we all can relate on having women problems. And most of us, you know, a lot of us got kids, so we can relate on that. You know, and just kind of like the things that we going through, and you know. And just, you know, uplifting each other and just telling us that, you know, giving advice and speaking from experience and how another brother can handle his situation and so on and so forth. OK, brothers need that camaraderie, man, that that, that, that team, that team atmosphere, that team, you know, uh, uh, team camaraderie thing. OK, brothers need that. Brothers need to be held accountable. OK, if you ain't getting held accountable. OK, you're not in the right team. You're not around the right people. Okay, pressure is a privilege. To have pressure on you is a privilege. That means people believe that you should do great things. Okay? Pressure. Pressure makes diamonds or it bursts pipes. But a diamond cannot be made without it being pressured. Without pressure being up on it. Okay? That's why scriptures say, you know, through, uh, 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 through the fire, you know, through adversary is a man made great. You know? If a man has an easy, smooth life, He's most likely not battle tested. He's not he's not strong mentally. Okay? The Lord is trying to make us strong mentally first and foremost. Okay? He's trying to make us soldiers. Okay? No matter what situation we are in, whether it is a negative one or whether it is a positive one, we're still approaching that that outcome no matter what, man. We're going to see it through. We're not going to walk out. We're not going to look for the side door. We're not going to quit. We're not going to blame nobody else. Okay? We're going to try to face that situation out and try to get through it, you know, the best that we can, you know, walking through faith and not through sight, you know, asking you how about Shimei our side to lead us, okay, and not leading unto our own flesh and not guiding, you know, walking in a way that is, you know, seems right unto a man, but the end ways thereof are death, you know, once you walk, you know, in the ways of the scriptures, you can't really go wrong, okay, because now you're walking in righteousness, you're walking in perfection, okay, it's only after you walk after the lust of the flesh do you continue to sin, you continue to go off, because you're pleasing the flesh, you're pleasing weakness, Okay, when you please the spirit, you're pleasing strength, you're pleasing righteousness. Okay. So, you know, that's why scripture say, you know, a just man fall seven times, but rise up, up again. In order to rise up again from being knocked down seven times, you gotta have some confidence. You gotta have some fight. You gotta have some hope. Alright? In order to be confident, that means you're confident in yourself that you're gonna fight no matter what. When shit going good, when shit going bad, you just able to fight, fight, fight. That's that confidence. Because everything you've been through is it has made you get to where you're gonna get to. Okay, everybody when they're going through some tough times, they think, man, these this times are tougher than me. No, they're not. You done already survived a hundred of the hundred out of your toughest days. You're going to survive this to come. It's going to take time. The Lord just testing your spirit, seeing where your mind is, where your mind at, where your faith is when shit's going bad. Because everybody got faith when everything going good. Everybody a soldier when shit going good. But there's very little soldiers when war really happening. When shit ain't looking all good. When, when, when you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel Head down, just keep grinding, keep going Sometimes you're not going to be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel That's just what it is But you got to have belief that it's there You got to have faith that it's there That's what's going to keep you fighting That's what's going to keep you going That's what's going to keep you walking You know, you might slip up, you might fall, you might fuck up You might sing, you might go off So on and so forth Oh well, is that what makes you? Is that who you is? Or is you going to rise from that and become better? Bounce back and become greater. That's what it's about. It's about to fall down, but it's also about to get back. To get back up. And to keep fighting. To keep taking them punches. To keep going. To keep moving. That's what scripture say in Matthew 24, 13. Those that endure to the end shall be delivered. Shall be saved. Okay? In order to continue walking in this truth, you have to have confidence. This world's going to try to break you. going to try to make you feel like you're minuscule. Like you're nothing. Like you ain't nothing but a nigga in the world. You ain't nothing but you. You came from slaves. But really, they don't want you to know that you, 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 you was the creator. Like it says in Jeremiah, you the form of all things. You come from kings. You come from a legendary bloodline from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That right there should give you the confidence in your everyday walk. Now, we're not like these regular people, according to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. We're a holy, a holy nation, separate, above all people upon the face of the earth. Okay? 
Okay, think confidently, but walk humbly, man. That's why scripture say, be as wise as a serpent, but as harmful as a dove. We're supposed to know we the shit, but we're supposed to act like we ain't shit. That's just how it is. Because being humble is a mindset. It's a state of, it's a state of mind. Okay? Just because we think we the shit don't mean we got to flaunt it. Don't mean we got to be arrogant. We got to show off. We got to shit on people. No, that's not what people that got it do. That's not what the righteous do. Okay? If I got it and I'm on a higher level, I'm going to try to put down that ladder and bring somebody up with me, man. You know, reach one, teach one. That's what it's supposed to be. You're supposed to uplift your brother. Pick him up. Help him out. Okay? Not shit on him. Not just talk to him the ways, but show him the ways. Show him how to be great. You know? Experience the, experience the losses and, and, and the shit with him. You know, we did all... Majority of our, us Israelites then came from the bottom. You know, we didn't came from the Section 8 living or the slums. You know, living check to check. You know... Having a dad or not having a dad or, you know, him being on drugs and him being an alcoholic, or, you know, having a mom or not being a mom in the same situation, you know, and we don't, we don't rose up from that. Some of us then had, you know, lived out to have great careers and great lives up until this point, man, from where we started at, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 years old, you know, being in the slums, living at the bottom with the roaches and the rats and the eating GMO foods. Okay. And now we didn't, you know, we 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 we, we, done, we done did pretty good, you know. And we trying to put our kids in a better situation than what we grew up in, trying to break, you know, generational curses, man. The best that we can. We know we're under the curses for sure, and we can't break all of them, but we can break some because some is our own doings, you know. You fix the way you walk, you might fix the whole generation of the people you walk. You never know, you know. You fix the way you walk, you gonna fix the way your sons walk. Then your son's gonna fix the way his sons walk. Then your son's gonna fix the way his son's sons walk. And so on and so forth. And that's how you continue to break generational curses, man. Alright? When you know better, you do better. That's how Scripture said, through that precepts, I get understanding, and through every false way I hate, you know, roughly paraphrasing. Okay? We know what's right and what's wrong. And we're trying our best to walk in the right and not the wrong. And we have to do that with confidence. Okay? So with that, I give all praise, that's honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahweshai, Bahashem Akakwadash, Bavakadum, and double honors unto the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth and citation out there to the hopeful elect. The brothers that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I like to say, Shalom.